Here's a cannon we're going to fire. It's a swivel gun, probably about a one pounder. It's got about a two and one eighth inch bore in uh, bronze. Weighs uh, maybe 120 pounds without the mount. And we're going to be firing one pound of half inch lead balls. Probably a load not too much unlike what was fired before as a canister round. There's one pound, right, of uh, half-inch lead balls in there in a cardboard closed-off tube. Here's the powder charge in aluminum foil, triple-wrapped aluminum foil. It's two ounces of FG-grade black powder. And we think that's a pretty uh, compatible charge. Two ounces of this with a 16-ounce uh, load of uh, canister balls. So we'll load that up in a little bit here. I'll shoot one round of the 44. Did you feel the bag with the other? I Good. think you're in there. Okay. Good. Reprime. John, is that what's in that orange can there? That yellow can. Hang on a second. Oh, just uh, up there. Yeah. It's I don't just, know. Uh, the, the tools and equipment. Oh, okay. okay it's not nothing. not powder. Yeah. Right? There's no powder. Well, you got to get all the slack out of it. Still lethal, probably. Yeah, this is the, where the sabot went through, the wooden sabot, and these are the holes from the musket balls. So somebody in this area would have been in trouble. Good. Thank you. Okay. I'm load you this swivel got... gun now. Ed and Mike. Uh, Mike has got the powder charge. He's putting a two ounce. Ooh, yeah, no, the 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 sabot goes in next. Uh, that way. Yeah, and. Go ahead and ram it and check. Yeah, other way, Ed. Other way. Turn around. There you go. That's the canister round. Okay, now let's re-aim. And check the elevation like we did before. Because you don't want it too high. That's the problem. Go ahead and put a stick parallel to the bore and somebody else check. and Sight down the stick and see if it's going to hit the middle of our uh, target. Oh, All right. Here's it. here's the event pick. Didn't get a lot of it picked, but that's good enough. Okay, and make sure whoever pulls it, uh, we got to take. Who's going to pull it now? Put it down in there further. Right? It's got to be seated all the way. No, that has to be down all the way, and the ring has to be towards the rear because we're going to pull it to the rear. Okay. Sure. Did you tell those guys inside, Ed? Yeah, I did. Hang on. Okay, we're going to do a. Uh, scatter test, patterning test, on this uh, foam board down there like we did before and see what kind of pattern we get with these musket balls. We got one pound of half inch lead musket balls in the cannon. There's the cannon. Here's the gunner. We asked the gunner, Mad Mike, Mad Mike to uh, pull straight back so the swivel gun does not swivel because it will swivel if given the chance so we don't want it to do that now. We should actually nail it down but since we've got carefully trained people here, highly reliable, etc, etc, we can count on it. Okay, you want to give a 3-2-1 count and then uh, pull it, Mike? Take all the slack out and then give it a sharp jerk. Anybody else coming? Right. What's our load this time? Is it, uh, we got one bird? pound of musket balls. Uh, <laughs> you ready? Coming? No. Everybody ready? All right, go ahead. All right, countdown. Three, 
two, one. Yeah. Good one. All right. Take that, you bastards. <laughs> Well, the target uh, was defeated, apparently. It has fallen over, so we'll have to go down and take a look at it. I do see a pretty good pattern on it already. Now, that is what we did before, so this is what we just did right here. All of that. We got all these balls right here, and we didn't hit it with a sabo this time. That went off somewhere else. But all these, <laughs> all these balls here are part of yeah. that one it's pound one that uh, intersected with the target. And there, here. Tore the we also killed the sawhorse, I think. Yeah, the sawhorse. <laughs> did we kill the sawhorse? I guess we did. Yeah, here's. So uh, they had pretty good force when they went through there, didn't they? Yeah. They went through what a two by four. Here, here's the. You can see the yeah. ball. Some of them lodged in the 2x4 and some went through. Up here? There's some lodged in it. If you got hit with that thing, it would not make your day any better. Let me put it that way. You would not there's one right there, John. Yeah, there's one lodged in it. Yep. So anyway, some go through a 2x4 and some don't. So there's your, there's your patterning. Okay, uh, whenever you're ready, we're going to fire the... Uh, Swivel gun. Three, two, one. All right, destroyed the target again. That thing jumped back about a foot, didn't it? You see it jump back? Yeah, we used uh, two and a half ounces of powder and one pound canister round, consisting of musket balls that time. You see how it jumped back? And the whole yeah. thing recoiled about a foot. Yeah. Yeah. We're now going to go down and look at the target which fell over and see if we can detect which holes are new. Well, the, ones, the new holes are the ones that entered from this side. Do okay, that help you? I don't know. Not really. Because <laughs> it's destroyed. Now there they are right there. Okay. The sabot went, right the went right through the center. Yeah. Oh, that was a nicely aimed shot. Yeah, so one right there. Are those new ones too? Uh, only if they're coming this way. This way. So these are all. Th those are all new. New. These are all new here. Okay, those are new holes right there. I think, I think most of it probably went over it. Yeah, we were aimed a little high that time. Probably a little high. The sub sub anyway, was on track. The we killed it. Yeah. What do you mean? You had one big solid shot in there? 